If you guys are looking for a fun, festive Valentine's Day makeup look, then this look is for you. Stay tuned. For my brows, I'm using Glossier um, Boy Brow. I love a bushy brow, but if you're not into the boy brow look, then you can just fill in your brows with a brow pencil or eyeshadow if you want. I like to go in in the opposite direction of my hair first, and then bring it upwards. From the beginning, towards this it's like kind of filling it in for me especially around the mid area and towards the ends due to um, waxing when I was younger I don't have much here so we're gonna finesse that I'm using the Bioderma micellar water and a q-tip to clean up my brows make it look from underneath and on top as you see it's getting the excess product off of my um, brows to fill them in a little bit I'm using the benefit precisely my brow and I use the shade 4.5 and I go on like hair like strokes Just following the shape of my brows. So you see, it's just filling and filling it in, and then I'm using the brush to kind of comb it out so it looks more natural. I'm putting more pressure on the bottom of the pencil, not at the top, so it could be like lighter pressure instead of like harsh. If that makes sense. I don't like to do too much here. I like to keep that a little bit more natural, but maybe a little bit here. Okay. To clean up my brows, I'm gonna add um, my Fenty Beauty Bright Fix, and I'm just using a little bit. Cleaning the um, bottom. I'm starting with Valentine Color Fix from Vanessa Myricks, and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I have a I have a tissue next to me, and that is gonna be used as my palette. Today. I'm using a flat brush from Makeup Forever and I'm gonna pack that all over my lids. It's not my fault. You've been lying saying that I took away your peace. I like to use my hands to like the feel the top a little bit. Me. Like you have no options. I take your options. This is a matte shade from um, the color fix man one. that's on you. You've been terrorizing me. Yeah, I'm always wrong. On the other side of the brush, I'm going to add a fuchsia tone from MAC and it's called Azalea. Yeah, you must be crazy. And I'm gonna pack it on the lid. So it's kind of doing a double effect. I'm like basting it with a cream and then setting it with a powder. To diffuse the um, outer corners, I'm going to use the Millennial Pink palette from Melt Cosmetics. I'm gonna use the shade Flamingo Dream. To 
to define the outer court. I'm using this Morphe palette. I'm using this burgundy color and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner. Man, you so dirty. Yeah, you look so dirty. You were never worthy. I like to um pat it in first and then diffuse the lines. Put it on me, but baby, it's you. Lie like a right, but take I'm a little dramatic, so I'd like to do a blown out sultry eye, so I'm just blowing it out towards my temple. And I'm gonna follow the the same steps on the bottom lash line. Kind of winging it out. I'm going in with a MAC 224 brush to like diffuse any lines, harsh lines. It's a clean brush. Then every day it would rain on your parade. Shine, you can't shit crazy. Yeah, if I was for the time. It's looking a little cray cray, but we're gonna pull this look together. I'm gonna um, add mixed emotions in that same palette on the lids. And I'm just packing it on the lid. I'm using that plum color also to like diffuse those lines on the lid. I'm gonna use um, this liquid glitter from Lemonhead and it's called um, Birthday Bitch. And it's pretty and it's a liquid glitter that doesn't make a mess which I love. I'm just gonna jazz up the lids with that and watch this, watch this. Do you see? <laughs> I love these um lemon head glitters. Like it doesn't get everywhere, it stays put, it's cute. I'm gonna use a uh, black liner to wing it out some more. And this is from the Nessa Myrick. Now I'm going to put on mascara. I'm using Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which is one of my favorites right now for mascara. It really gets the lashes popping. I wish I had a burgundy. Actually, I do have um, a pink mascara from Pat McGrath. I might use that. Actually. You can leave it like that and add a, I mean, add a lash if you want to. I'm going to apply the um, Pat McGrath. Pink mascara, dark star mascara, and pink mystique. Why not? I like an alien vibe to my look, so why not? So we have black mascara and then we have pink. 
Let's just dig in the pink. It's kind of cool. This is with the pink mascara. I don't know. I'm, I miss having fun with makeup. I don't know about you guys, but I'm over the basic soft girl makeup look. I'm a little over that. I want to have fun with makeup again. Like, that's what I fell in love with makeup is to put it on. I don't want to look like I don't have makeup on. That's the purpose of putting on makeup. It's to make it look like you got makeup on and all that jazz. I'm gonna show you guys my base routine. Let's get into it. For foundation today, I'm using the Shunta Sharif um, foundation. And what's cool about this foundation, it also comes with concealer at the top. So it's a two for one thing, which I like. Just applying this all over. I really like this foundation a lot. It like blurs. It's called Blur, Blur Fix Flawless Concealer and Foundation. And it, it does um, blur out your skin a lot. So I like to use my hands to apply it on first. So I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 101 brush and I'm gonna pat it on. Oh, and then the foundation, I'm using the shade Bronze Heat. And before I put on my base, I always use Skin Prep, which I do my Hyaluronic Acid and Niacinamide and my moisturizer. And I also put my eye cream um, for hydration underneath the eyes and also it corrects dark circles. Do you see soul. that? Like, look at the skin. You mean the concealer underneath the eyes? Like you have no options. I take your options. Now I'm not the problem. Man, that's on you. And I'm using tapping motion. Me. Yeah, I'm always wrong. I knew you lost See how that cleans up the eye. I'm going to bronze yeah, up my face first crazy. and then add highlight. And I'm using the Chanel Le Beige because this one, it's not too red. It's more on the golden side. And I love to use the Sephora um, Pro Foundation Brush, but I like to use it to bronze up my skin. You see how it's not too, um, it's not too red. And I'm going downwards just to give him a more chiseled look. For blush, I'm using Divine Rose from Pat McGrath. It's gonna give that dewy look on the cheekbones. See how it just blends so nice and dewy. Got a fresh face. I'm also using the Ashanti Sharif um, liquid thermal blush and this goes on the temperature of your it goes by the temperature of your cheeks On. Now I'm gonna highlight and bring the look together. I'm using Born This Way Concealer in the shade Caramel. And the tea, 
and I love using this Makeup Forever brush in 140 to blend out my concealer. It just buffs it out so smooth. If I was for the time, then I would change the honey. It blends out on the face. What do I have to do to like you? Time to set this together. I'm gonna use the House Lab and Danessa Myricks, mix it up, and the shade number two. And I'm gonna mix that and set my face. I'm using the Alcone um, sponge, which I really like. I use this a lot in my um, professional makeup artist kit. And I've been using these for a long, a long time. And they're really good. For blush, I'm using Pat McGrath um, Love Struck Powder br Blush to set my blush on my cheeks I have really big um, cheekbones so I like to accentuate it it's one of my favorite features on my face is my cheekbones because they're so mine guys and people pay for them. Okay, and now I'm gonna set my bronzer. And I'm using the Dark Deep from MAC. It's a mineralized foundation. It's the loose one. I don't know if they still sell these, but it was one of my favorites. If not, I'll use the Danessa Myricks um, setting powder in the shade four. For the nose, I'm using like one of the Morphe um, brushes from Ariel's uh, brush palette. I mean brush set. So I'm going to use some um, MAC Fix Plus to like get everything back to like a natural face look. Because it's kind of matte right now. We're gonna just put on our lips. I'm gonna use the Intense 3 from um, Charlotte Tilbury all over my lid. I mean, all over my lip. I'm going to use the shade Chosen from Roquel Beauty. I'm going to add Patrick Ta Gloss and two CCs just in the center. To set my face in place, I'm using the Airbrush by Charlotte Tilbury all over. It's not my fault. So this concludes the look. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.